Hi guys, welcome to CP Talks on Literature. Today we are going to see about linguistics definition of language. First, let me say what is meant by linguistics. Linguistics means a scientific study of language. For example, there are several languages like Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam. We all have one doubt. How these words are came? Why we want to use these words? Is this the correct format of the sentences? Why we have to use these sentences like this? Lots and lots of doubts will be in our mind. The study of these is called a linguistics. And the person who study this is known as linguist. And this linguist is not a particular language. It is common for all languages. The rules and the words we use now that is common for all languages. This is the definition of linguistics. Now let me go for a language. Yes, we all know that language is the only means of communication to share one's opinions, thoughts or thinking to another. The only tool we use is by communicating with them. And without language also we can communicate with them by using our body language, gestures like uh, smiling, maintaining eye contact etc. No? This also we can use. But the only way to deliver one's thoughts and thinking is well picturized by a language and we call humans as a talking animals and for animals also there is a language that will be limited to show their uh, hungriness, angry, the thirsty feel like that. These are the only things that animals can communicate but the peoples are in the next stage of it. We can communicate with others and we can gain a knowledge, we can keep it in our mind and we can pave way for our next generations. This is the only difference between animals and us. And now we can see characteristics in languages. The first one is the language is arbitrary. Arbitrary in the sense individuality. It has its own to stand. Let me say one example to this. We call uh, in English, we call women the same. In Hindi, they call it as Sri. In French, feminine. In Urdu, Aret. Persian, Sin. They are different by their words, but the meaning is same, isn't it? But we all have one doubt. How these words are came, what is the meaning of it? Because uh, we don't know that who have origin it. This is made by the history accident. What our ancestors used first, what they used to communicate, that's what we are following now. Because there is something, a procedure for it that we can't change. Whenever the years had passed, we can't change. Another example, let me say to you. If a child bonds, we will be celebrating a, a naming ceremony. That time, the name is given for a child. Till his lifetime, he will be in that name only. Uh, for example, when he goes to school, college, uh, applying for a job, wherever he was, the name is we have to use. That can't be changed. The same for our language. The words we use are the history accidents. The ones they had used that can't be changed. That's what this language is arbitrary. And the second one is Language is a system of system. There is a structure for a word and the sentences, the formation of sentences, etc. We, we can choose many words, but to frame a sentences, there is a procedure, the grammatic rules that we should know correctly. So, so that you can convey your words as a sentence to other. For example, if a girl eats ice cream, this is the sentences. The, uh, by this you can get a meaning the girl eats ice cream now it gives a complete sense but just change the word like ice cream girl eats whether it gives you a complete sense no so we have that structure to be followed that's what they are saying as a language is a system of system and the third one is language is primarily vocal the language we use is more for speaking than writing so by speaking is considered to be the first so it is primarily considered as a vocal let me say one example to this uh, just imagine of your childhood as a child 
we will be playing here and there and the first thing we do is we just uh, see our family and surroundings what they spoke no that we just hear and we try to blabber in our words thus that in that time itself we are trying to speak not for writing later that only after your when you grow 3 or 4 years old then only we are going to join in school right in that time itself speaking is first so speaking is a given importance in this will compare to writing and the advantage in writing is you can show that proof to others that uh, a record that is a record you can show to others and in this modern technology by voice is also we can record it and that is also stands for proof that is the only thing it is considered to be the vocal and this is same for animals also as lion roars dogs bark cocks crow etc the difference in this uh, vocal between animals and humans is we have uh, introduced lot of words now like uh, software video cam etc we have introduced by technologies and the way we speak the slangs uh, stylish pronunciation it may be the differ but it is primarily considered to be the vocal for both animals and humans and the uh, next step is language differs from animal communication in several ways the uniformity of communication to humans is through language but in limit for animals if a bee is there it shows his food to his uh, other bees that it can only show that it can't say what is coming to do with it but the humans not like that if we if we see one thing that we can have the capability to explain it to others and we can go to that but the bees can't be like that uh, bees in the sense the animals or birds can't like that that what i mean here and the displacements if a dog missed it for a day next day it came it can't be explained to his owner that i went there like that but the human can uh, explain of his past present and future also in that way it differs and the next step is language is a form of social behavior yes by by our surroundings we can learn languages too imagine you know to speak tamil but your friend knows malayalam or uh, telugu uh, whatever it may be if you are in contact with you are in contact with him or her if you daily watches the words they use you can also follow that that you can also communicate with it and you can also learn by that so our surroundings and the society makes us to learn a language and language is a symbol systems yes symbols are, are also there in a language if you see the plus symbol we can remember the crucifixion of jesus christ isn't it like that many symbols are also used to express one's thoughts through language and the productivity to product a word it does not mean if you know words you can't product word if you know how it's formed and what are the basic rules the grammar tips by that you can also produce make some new words in that format we can product those words also and the one is interchangeability this is one of the important topic in human language if one person speaks to the other person the one can listen to it what they are speaking right this is the one of the advantages that cf forkett says interchangeability is important in characteristics of all this i hope i have covered the uh, definition of linguistics and the definition of language and the importance of it too i hope it is useful for you if it's so please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching